welcome to Lemons to Lemonade. We're a furniture flipping family located in the heart of Texas. Hey, if you guys enjoy our content, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you. Today, we're going to flip a kitchen table that we picked up from an auction for the bargain price of $13. When I saw this guy, I knew I really wanted to try this new staining technique to the base. So come along with us and see what we did. Enjoy! Here's what the table looked like when we got it home from the auction. It was pretty dirty and just needed a little bit of cleaning, but other than that it was in really good shape. There wasn't much we had to do to it besides clean it off and get it sanded down. We're going to start off with some 60 grit sandpaper on our rotary sander to get the top sanded down on this.
Once the top is sanded down completely, you want to go over it again with a 120 and a 220 just to make sure it's nice and smooth to the touch. As always, I like to clean my pieces with crud cutter. It's a really great degreaser to make sure you get off all the gross stains and things that have been on the piece just from years of sitting in a garage or years of use. Crud cutter works really well to get off old grimy stains and just make sure the piece is ready to go for paint. Once you're done cleaning your piece, you're going to want to make sure that you rinse it all off with some clean water as well. And now we're ready to paint. We like to use Sherwin-Williams chalk paint in the color alabaster. That's what we're going to use for the base and the sides of this table. We load it into our gravity-fed HVLP spray gun, and here we go. Next step is to stain the top. We're going to use some Varathane Early American Wood Stain. You're going to want to put this in in the direction of the wood grain and follow the directions on the can. So usually it sits for about two to three minutes and then you go ahead and wipe back the excess.
We're ready to poly the base and the top. I like to use Verathane Ultimate Polyurethane in a satin finish, especially if you're doing white. This is the only one I've found that doesn't turn yellow on your projects. So we're gonna go ahead and do three layers of this Verathane to the top of our piece. And then we're gonna put one coat of this on the bottom because once the Verathane dries on the base of my table, I'm gonna go through and do the antique look on this, which I'll show you in just a second. But I need to have my Verathane polyurethane applied first before I do the antique look so the chalk paint doesn't absorb all of my stain. Now I'm ready to antique the base and the sides now that my polyurethane is dry. I'm going to use a Minwax dark walnut stain on this and I'm going to apply it really heavily with a sponge brush and let it sit for a little bit. I'm going to apply a really heavy coat of this which you're going to see. You can do this trick with dark waxes as well. Uh, I just thought on the base of this table, I really wanted to try to get into these little nooks and crannies that I had really well and see if I could give it just a really nice aged antique look just by using this stain. So you can see I applied this stain really heavily and now I'm going to go back with a clean lint-free cloth and just wipe off as much as I want to remove. You have total freedom in how much you want to leave and how much you want to wipe back and you can just mess around with this as you go. As long as your piece is polyed before you try this, it's not going to be really absorbed into your chalk paint so you have a little bit of playtime that you can wipe this back or um, you know if you take off too much you can always apply a little bit of more until you get the look that you really are going for on here. So 
so here's our finished product. You can see that I did that aged look all along the base and the sides of the table. I think it turned out really cute and rustic. So we listed this on Facebook Marketplace for $250. It sold really quickly to one of our page regulars who was looking for a table just like this. So minus the supplies that I did have to buy for this one and the $13 that I spent on the table, we made a total profit of $220 on flipping this table. I hope you enjoyed the same technique that we tried on the base to help age this. I know I will definitely use that again in another project. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.